Hi, I'm Sean, and you're watching Shockworks. I'm unhooking this Deutz uh, generator here. It's uh, salvage on one of the jobs I'm on, and uh, it gets to go back home. So uh, let's uh, pull her apart, have a good, good little look at it, and uh, see what we all get. got this uh, automatic transfer switch coming with it and I already pulled it off the wall here uh, not much to, to see in that end and this little uh, generator here and it's in very good shape I think it's only got 1471 hours we'll say And the specs on it here is uh, 240 volt single phase and it's a uh, 15 kilowatt genset so be uh, perfect for a backup plant at the shop. Looking at it here, it's uh, been service last May 26th, uh, 21 at 1256 hours so I guess they've had about 500 hours of power outage here in the last two years. One year, one year, last one year. What I see there's uh, really no drips or leaks or anything going on here at all. Everything's clean and looks pretty tight. And the model of the Deutz is an F3L 2011. And I get it with the battery charger and the associated ductwork and uh, exhaust piping. And it also sounds like I get the fuel tank as well for up there. So it'll be a, a good little score anyway. And I get all the associated piping and parts and all that stuff with it. So that should be uh, huge, uh, huge for me up at the shop there. All right, so I got the vent lines undone and the fill line undone to the tank and uh, moved some fittings around, screwed in my 12 volt pump uh, and start pumping out some of that fuel here in a bit and uh, get that out. Also got the exhaust unhooked and the uh, ventilation off this generator. So that's golden and I started to unhook the fuel lines but uh, it just doesn't matter what you have, you never have the right pieces, especially when you're up in the middle of nowhere. So, I'm gonna have to go and uh, get some different size JAC plugs and cap everything off here. So, it was awfully nice of them to uh, give me this large battery here. Get the pump hooked up and uh, start filling some equipment.
Oh, forgot to fill the fire jug. Cans 20, 20 years ago, 30 years ago worked just fine. And all these new ones they take forever. So more of it to fight in the damn can. We throw the spouts off and just fill her in like this and hope for the best. And we're full. Yes, I know it's a gas can. Uh, always take a couple of them on job sites. You never know what you're getting for rental equipment. Uh, most of them are all diesel. This time we ended up with a gas visitor left here. So, uh, if we need them, then we got them. And we got to fill them at a gas station, so it's nice having the right colors. And nobody factors you on that. A little bit of diesel in them, not going to hurt nothing. Same other way around. Good enough. Apparently this battery even gets to come home with me, so I'm uh, getting more of a score than I thought here. I'm sure that one wasn't cheap to buy. So, I gotta get this thing out of here. We're starting to fill up with more material and everything in here, and uh, supposed to be the storage room. Get these, uh, the vibration dampers off it. Get it up on top of these dollies. Get it out to the door there. and. Uh, Hopefully get it up where I can pick it with the, the loader and uh, get her out of some watch. I guess we should uh, get out of here.
here with everybody running around. parts on these mounts are big springs. There's a rubber isolator underneath and rubber rubber isolator here on the sides along with some shims. So I can leave all that together. They seem to go back in a lot nicer than I put a dozen pieces back through and uh, align everything. Just to show you what I'm kind of working with here for a motor mount or uh, the vibration dampener I should say for the generator. It's got a uh, rubber pad underneath. Uh, rubber isolators on either side here of the the groove and there's a shim you can tension up your uh, tightness on each side take the play out and same with the top to preload that one over there looks like the bottom rubber has seen better days something spilled on it that uh, probably shouldn't have been and uh, I'll have to get a new chunk of that no biggie we'll get her Get the next one out here. We're going to have to do that. get done with a uh, limited amount of tools if you really get back to basics what they do 70 80 years ago still being used in a lot of spots uh, kind of like this I was on a strike one day and they were putting a 750 horse electric motor in and uh, to wire it up it was pulling uh, 2000 amps at 600 volts there and uh, those guys were at it all day. You know, nobody had any idea how they were going to get this motor in there and braced up onto the pump there. 
and they were at it all day with uh, bottle jack and railroad ties. And they got her in, everybody was impressed, it was faster than anybody thought it'd be done. And uh, a lot of that old stuff, uh, old ways is uh, still great for uh, doing a lot of things. So. I'm sure you all are probably laughing about the little $30 scissor jack. <laughs> kind of the same reason I carry a jack all around in the trailer. Also got a floor jack in there too if I need. But. The big challenge on this job, I got two stacks of uh, batteries for a UPS going in here. They're uh, two volt cells. They're quite big. Each uh, bank of batteries there is uh, 1,600 kg, so whatever that works out, 35, 3,700 pounds for a stack. And I got to get them in through a man door. And uh, once they're in the man door, I got to stand them up and get them across the building into where they go on the far wall. Uh, got a few ideas, uh, nothing I'm really sold on yet that I want to commit to doing. would be okay if they actually put some lifting lugs or something like that on the stack of batteries so we gotta at least uh, stand them from the way to ship them on their back to upright without having to worry about anything there so I'm sure I'll get her somehow I haven't quite figured her out yet yeah, now we should be pretty much good to roll let's well, see if we can't get it rolling
Thanks for watching. If you uh, want to see more videos like this, please remember to like and subscribe, and we'll try to keep it coming.